Hi, welcome to this episode of Jack Chat and another tiny lesson in leadership straight up. In this episode, I want to talk about something that's kind of uncomfortable, team bullies. Look, we've all had to work with people who aren't our favorite, and it's pretty rare that we get to choose our teammates. Throughout your career, you'll move from team to team, working with different types of people. That's why it's so important that we develop the interpersonal skills to be able to work with different personalities and styles. But there's one type of teammate that no one should be expected to work with, the bully. Now the term bully might bring to mind for you the classic schoolyard bully, someone who, I don't know, knocks you off your bike and, and steals your lunch. Oh, hey, you took my lunch. There was a donut in there. While some bullying behavior in the workplace can be as blatant as that, it usually shows up in far more sophisticated and subtle ways. That's why as a leader, it's important you learn to recognize bullying behavior so that you can confront and address this divisive and unhealthy team behavior before it kills the performance of your team. To help you see the more subtle forms of bullying, ask yourself these questions. Does a person on the team withhold information from other team members? Manipulate outcomes by using passive tactics such as withdrawing from discussions. Criticize the work of other team members behind their back. Control team culture with a persistently negative attitude. Give those questions some thought. Get serious about addressing unhealthy team behaviors and join me again for another chat. the more subtle forms of bullying. Ask yourself, okay. To help you... <laughs> ah, okay. Reel it in here.